Side, we will use the incense as you know the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ incense was given to him as one of the gifts from the three kings uh, the three wise men so we would like to read the psalm before we greet the body of our beloved brother uh, psalm 89 we start 889 in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit one in the Bible in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God only. Psalm 88. O Lord, Lord of my salvation, I cry day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee in times and in the hours of my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life joins nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that has no strength. Free among the dead like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more. Thou hast laid me in the lowest, in the lowest pit in darkness in the deep. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, I cannot come forth. My eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Will thou show wonders to the head to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. Lord, why cast thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted, I am ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they come past me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me and in my acquaintance into darkness, I am in. Psalm 89. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Besama ab old woman fescado, sahadu, amlak, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I will sing of thy mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be upon forever. Thy full faithfulness shalt thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen, I have sworn unto David thy servant. Thy seed will I establish forever, and build up thy throne to all generations, and the heavens shall praise thy wonders. O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who is in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. O Lord, God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee, thou rulest the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. 
Thou hast some mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgments are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor O horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Then thou speakest in vision to thy Holy One, and saidest, I have laid the help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David and my servant, and with my holy oil whom I have anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established, mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not extract upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I have set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Also I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever and his throne as a day of heaven. If his children forsake my long walk, not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgressions with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my love and kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as faithful with witness in heaven. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all edges, thou hast broken his strongholds unto his ruin. All that passed by the way, Fought him, spoiled him, he is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory increase and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened, thou hast covered him with shame. O oh, long Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is, wherefore thou hast made all men in vain. What is man? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? O oh, Lord, where are thy former loving kindness with us, swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Blessed be the Lord God forever and forever. Amen and amen. amen. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Psalm 90. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth, or ever before hast thou formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God, thou turnest man to destruction, and says, Return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it passed, and even as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away with a flood. 
They are as asleep in the morning. They are like grass, grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourishes and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are as consumed by thine anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they may be fourscore years, yet is this strength labor and sorrow, for it is good soon cut off and we fly away. We who know the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, O long, and let it repent thee concerning thy servants. Satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. Amen. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Holy Spirit. One God, Amen. Yes, Mother David, Samania, and the Psalm of David 91. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers. And under his wing shalt thou trust. His truth shall be of thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Nor for the arrows that fly by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague nigh come unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. So shall straight upon the lion and other the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under the feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I shall answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and she my salvation. Amen. He that received the word of a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's word. Amen. Glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Now, I think uh, the body of our brother, Lord is the Lord, is alive. And if everyone could stand, please, we will receive his body. In accordance with the Ethiopian Orthodox Twilight Church, right?
Dear beloved uh, families of the deceased, our beloved brother, Wilde Hewitt, Heston Thomas, we gathered in this uh, church to do, according to Ethiopian Orthodox Twahira Church, the last rites. We meet in sadness, but at the same time, we are comforted by our God, and for those who wondered why we're not using the incense, because uh, there's an alarm here that could be triggered, and so we will just use Symbolically, in Ethiopian Orthodox Church, Apostolic Church, incense is an important part of our prayers and the rite of the Apostolic Church. So now we will start our program, uh, the prayer program. Most of you have got this uh, program. And uh, we stand with the family of the deceased to comfort them, to encourage them, to pray for them, and all the friends and well-wishers as well. So some of the prayers will be said in Ethiopian language, Gu'uz, the ancient language of Ethiopia, and in English. But bear with us, because will the Hewot, his family wish him to have the farewell according to his faith, Ethiopian Orthodox Christian. If you're tired anytime, you can sit. Don't feel as if you have to stand at all times. You can have a seat if you are tired at any part during the program. So we will do as, uh, as fast as we can during time, based on the time allocated to us. So we start the opening prayers. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Vesama Aulu and Faskado Sahadu, Amla Kamen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. In the Holy Trinity, believing and trusting myself, I deny Satan. In front of my mother, the Holy Church, who is my witness, Saint Mary of Zion, forever, Amen. We thank you, Lord, and glorify you. We praise you, Lord, and rely on you. We beg and beseech you. We worship and serve to your holy name. We bow and kneel to you. To whom only should bow and out and serve. You are the God of God, the Lord of lords, and the King of kings. You are God to all flesh and to all souls. We gathered before you, Almighty God, to grant your mercy and compassion upon the departed soul of Wilde, he ought, and grant blessings to his family and all those who gathered here under the roof of this church. Keep us, protect us, Bless us, accept our prayers through the love of your good, kind Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit, the life giver. The intercession of your Holy Mother, could distinguish Mariam, the Holy Virgin, Mother of God, the prayers of the Holy Angels, the saints, the prophets, and the apostles, the martyrs, and the righteous. We say the prayer which you taught your disciples on the Holy Mount of Olives. When we pray, we should say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. By the salutation of Saint Angel Gabriel, O my Lady Maria, I salute thee. For thou art virgin in thought, virgin in body, mother of God, so both Lord of all salutation unto you. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice, thou say, Lord, graceful, God is with thee, beseech and pray for mercy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Amen. My soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he has regard the low state of his handmaiden, for behold, and so all generations shall call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done to me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercy is upon those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, he scattered the proud in the imagination of the arts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he sent empty away. He is helping his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercies. As he spoken to our fathers to Abraham 
and to the spirit of evermore, amen. Alleluia, 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 Now we chant by saying that, O oh Lord, have mercy upon us, upon the family, and upon our deceased brother, the brother that you took to you, Walter Hewitt. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. By the salutation of Saint Angel Gabriel, O my Lady Maria, I salute thee for thou art virgin in thought, virgin in body, mother of God, so what Lord of all salutation to you. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice thou say, O graceful God is with thee, beseech and pray for mercy. Dear beloved Son, Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins, amen.
Through the love of your good kind Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit, the life giver, and through the prayers of your Holy Mother, Holy the Saint Mariam, I will not ever summon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth as in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. By the salutation of Saint Angel Gabriel, O my Lady Mary, my salute thee. For thou art virgin and thou virgin in body, mother of God, so both Lord of all, salutation to you. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice, thou hail, thou graceful God is with thee, beseech and pray. For mercy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. That he may forgive Salutation of Saint Angel Gabriel, O my Lady Mary, my Salute. For thou art virgin and tall virgin, O God, the Mother of God, so both Lord of all, salutation to you. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice thou, hail, O graceful God, is with thee, beseech and pray. For our mercy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christos, that he may forgive us our sins. Amen. And so Believe it not in his birth from the Holy Two Third Virgin Mariam, the hark of the Holy Spirit until his coming again. Let him be anathema, as Paul said. We are going to do the first reading. According to St. Paul, letter 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, from verse 13 until 18. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. 
For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and when the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, Amen. O oh, my brethren, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world, for the world pass away, and the last therefore is passing. Kedus, Pavlos, Before the reading from the gospel, we shall read a text from the psalm, Psalm 16, verse 9 and 10. Psalm 16, verse 9 and 10. We will, we will say, read it in, in English, and uh, traditionally we sing it in Greek. In our religion, we are just singing the psalm. Uh, I know in Western countries, they used to read it in English, but... We will read it in the English and we will chant it in Buddhist language. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoice in my flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption.
Christos, ye could do see Hani Swangel, Medaf, Asra and Kukuzer, Asha Cement, Esker Haya, Zeteng. The Holy Gospel according to Saint John of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ. The third reading is taken from Saint John chapter 11, verses 18 until 29. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about fourteen furlongs off, and many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, Whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe it thou this? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went away and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come and called it for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him, Amen. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away, so Lord to his disciples. Oh, 
shine the light of your resurrection upon us all. Through the love of your good, kind Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit, the life giver, the intercession of your Holy Mother, Our Lady Saint Mary, could distinguish Maria, O Lady Tamlak, and through the prayers of the holy angels, Saint Michael, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael, Saint Raguel, Saint Urael, Saint Fanuel, and all the heavenly hosts of the Sherabim and the Seraphim, and through the prayers of the holy prophets and the holy apostles, the saints, the martyrs, and the righteous, accept our prayer which we establish on the holy Mount of Olives. When we pray, we should say, Our Father, all together, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. By the salutation of Saint Angel Gabriel, O my Lady Maria, I salute thee. For the heart virgin in thought, virgin in body, the mother of God, so both Lord of hosts. Salutation unto you, blessed art thou amongst men. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice thou, hail thou, graceful God is with thee. Beseech and pray for mercy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Amen. Lord of mercy upon us, O Christ, twelve times, Exeomana Christos, 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 Exeomana Christos. For the sake of your mother, Maria, have compassion upon us, O Christ, but enter existing in Maria, Maria, Christos. Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos. Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos. Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos, Benta Maria Mano Christos. Glory to the Father, glory to the Son, glory to the Holy Spirit at all times, both now and ever and well to our tender. Amen. My serate at it exabi if the dear, please have a seat. We have completed uh, the prayer portion of this uh, service. Uh, thank you for bearing with us. I know for many of you, it is a strange experience hearing a funeral service if you haven't visited Ethiopian Orthodox uh, Tawhida Church before. We thank you for coming on behalf of the family in support of the departed. Our brother is here. Uh, what he want? We know him as what he want. His Christian name. In the Ethiopian Orthodox uh, Church, when someone is baptized, is born again, they are born from the, the church, their mother. And just like when someone is born physically from their parents, the parents give them a name. So the Orthodox Church give the Christian a Christian name. And so it doesn't replace their family name. Even when you see originally, in the early period, when you see the application form, it says first name, middle name, surname, also Christian name. This tradition we kept from the first century and broken until today in Ethiopia, but not only Ethiopian Orthodox Church, some of the other Orthodox Church they're keeping. Just to give you an understanding, Wolde Hewat, when he was baptized by the priestess, it is the order. We give the name to the believer based on the day. In Ethiopian calendar, every day is a saint day, God day, saint day, angels day. And so when we baptize the person, it depends on which day they are baptized, they get the, the name. So the calendar teaches each time to keep close with God. We thank you also to join in us with prayer. We know it wasn't easy to stand and you couldn't uh, participate, but this is the right of Ethiopian Orthodox Church. The clergy normally 
to the pre normally we go around the body but we couldn't because of the space and usually the head of the person should be in this position on their feet facing the altar but again we couldn't all these things have a reason there is biblical reason for everything the time does not allow us to tell you everything in detail however we feel happy to see all of you here with us today on this occasion i was honored on behalf of ethiopian orthodox church in london my name is father tekla mariam priest in charge of one of the ethiopian orthodox church in London, which established this country since 1974. With me, another father priest is uh, Esis Risadeb Dishai, and we both serve in this church. This was the first church in Europe. Some of you may know King Haile Selassie, the Emperor of Ethiopia, when he came to this country in exile. He asked Her Majesty the Queen of England to help us to establish a church in this country. And the king himself wrote a letter and our patriarch of Ethiopian Orthodox Church and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth gave us permission to establish a church in this country. So we have been since 1974 in this country. <coughs> and we thank God about this. Beloved, Father, priests, fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, we come to the part of the program where tributes will be made. Tributes to our beloved brother, the departed, our brother, his name, as you know, we keep saying Woody Hewitt, but I think you know him, many of you, as Heston Thomas. So I've got three persons who will make the tributes. And the first person on the list that I was given is Tricia. I'd like to invite Tricia to come to the stand because the microphone, we have two microphones here, so we'd like you to come here. Mm -hmm. One for the camera and this one for the general, everyone else. Okay. Thank you, Tricia. No, no, just no press. Just. Good afternoon. Greetings to everyone. I am Trisha Heston's baby sister, and not here for a lengthy conversation, but to give some characteristics of my beloved brother. Heston was a family person, a great husband, father, brother, and also a good uncle. He was also a great mentor to his nieces and nephews. He was loving, he was a fun person, he loved listening to music, preferably roots reggae music, which Sizzler is one of his favorite artists. He likes to sing, he likes to freestyle. As a child, he liked track and field, he liked cricket, he liked basketball. He is special to me and to everyone here today, and I am grateful and I am thankful for him being my brother, because I'm the baby sister. As a child, he taught me to tie my laces, so that will always be special to me. He is a blessing, he's, and his memory is a treasure. And he is loved beyond words, and I will miss him beyond measure. My, my friends and my family and the, Thomas, and the Thomas name shall live on, and he shall always be in our hearts. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Tricia. I would like to invite Herman to come and uh, do the same. Greetings, everyone. Um, 
I am Spanky, the oldest of the four brothers. I don't know if I could mount up the words. I couldn't write anything. I could just say a few. We grew together. All he knew, I know, he was my mouthpiece. If I didn't want to say something to someone, he said it. Very, very forward. Strong, very strong. Did a lot more than me. He really loved his mother, born on the same day. His wife, his children, family man, nieces, nephews, brethren. He was loved by a lot of people. I know all over the world. Wherever it's streaming live, they remember Heston Thomas. He was really good in almost everything he do. I'm happy that he is and was my brother. I know I will meet him in New Jerusalem. Have to. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. God will strengthen you and your families. I would like to invite Brian to come and uh, give your tributes. were good friends for a good amount of years. Heston was full of life, joy, laughter, and always had a positive spirit. As a Rasta man, he dedicated himself to God. He did not let nothing come in his way or stop him from doing anything he wanted to do. He recently watched up me about October around last year saying that his workplace was asking for a vaccine pass. He told me having a laugh. Next time I spoke to him, he was in Zimbabwe relaxing and planting his greens. We used to talk about what was going on in the world, how the system was corrupted and leading to this one world government. He would reassure me by saying, Far I, just keep the faith. This is going on all around the world, and we are the percentage that are holding the faith. Bless. I'd like to read this chapter from John verse, chapter 14, verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, also believe in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you so. And I go and prepare a place for you, and I will come back again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, you may be there also. Heston, may God rest his soul in peace until we meet again. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you very much. Uh, it's wonderful to hear the wonderful things, the weaknesses, the statements, Concerning this brother, it's clear that he was well loved, Heston Thomas, and appreciated by everyone of you who spoke for him and on behalf of his family and friends. I think this is a time when we would invite, from on behalf of the family, someone to read your old lodging. Sorry, I didn't have a name. Hi everyone, 
For those of you who don't know me, my name's Unity and I'm one of Heston's daughters. I want to start off by thanking all of you for coming today, whether you're in person or online, to celebrate my dad's life. We've received countless phone calls, texts, flowers, visits and thoughts and prayers. Seeing all these faces, some familiar, others not as much, it makes me realise how much my dad was loved. I know some of you travelled a long distance to pay your respects and I know he would have loved seeing you all together. So once again, thank you, it means a lot. My dad was the kind of person who would always manage to set a lasting impression on everyone he met. And he didn't even mean to, he was just very hard to forget. You could usually sense his energy before you saw him. Once you heard his strong accent, his voice, his singing and rapping at any given moment, <laughs> you knew it was Heston. I think we can all definitely agree he was a free spirit, vibrant, fun, outspoken and just passionate about everyone and everything he cared about. What you saw is what you got with Heston. <laughs> he said what he meant, and he meant what he said. And you know, once you heard, let me tell you something, that was it. You'd be sucked into a two-hour-long conversation. And it's another story as to whether you actually wanted to hear what he had to say, but that was just him. <laughs> as you can imagine, growing up, I'd be on the receiving end of so many of those lectures, and he'd always tell me roughly the same two things. Firstly, to always keep pushing, to do better, to keep advancing, to keep learning. And the second thing would be to be strong, which was ironic because behind closed doors, he was so emotional. <laughs> he would cry when we'd have deep conversations and I'd roll my eyes and be like, Dad, why are you crying now? I always thought he was being dramatic, but now I realise I got it all wrong. My dad showed strength by not being scared to be his raw self, by not being worried about speaking his mind. He cried when he expressed his feelings because he wasn't afraid to show me how much he loved and cared, and that was strength. A time I'll never forget that strength was a few years ago, in 2019. I'd just finished my three years at university and the ceremony was coming up. We had it all planned. Dad was gonna take my family up to Bournemouth the night before and we'd all celebrate together. But one afternoon, a couple of weeks before, he called me to tell me that his dad, my granddad Herman, had passed away. My heart sank. I felt conflicted between being devastated for him and what he was going through and also being disappointed, not with him, but at the fact that after three years of blood, sweat and tears, he wasn't gonna be able to celebrate a proud milestone of my life. We'd had conversations, many conversations about my degree and where I was going, my future, my career, and he would always be the biggest support, always on the phone on the other side, just to kind of give me that strength that I needed to continue. I never actually admitted how I felt to him because I understood that's his dad and I would never let my feelings get in the way of something like that. So he went to say goodbye to him. I'm so glad that he did. But it's what happened after that I'll never forget. The day before the ceremony, he called me telling me he'd landed in the UK and he was on his way down to Bournemouth. That evening, he came to my house. He met my friends. I got him some dinner. We had a drink and we just talked. The next day, he came and cheered me on as I walked across that stage. That day, he put his own grief aside to be there for me, and that was strength. Since his passing, it's been heartwarming to hear stories of all the caring things that he's done and all the wise words he's said and all the funny times and all the things that he's probably done that he shouldn't have done, but... <laughs> um, he was always so openly proud of his family and today I think I could speak for all of us when I say that we could not be prouder of him. So today I encourage you to honour my dad and be a little bit more like him. Be less unapologetic when it comes to being yourself because the right people love you for who you are and don't be afraid to say how you feel whether it's words of love or an unpopular opinion because life's too short not to. I'd like to leave you with a quote that I feel directly represents the way in which I choose to remember my dad. In one sense, there is no death. The life of the soul on earth lasts beyond departure. His soul will always continue to live in my life. Thank you. Unity Thomas, thank you, Unity.
uh, for uh, doing on behalf of yourself, your family, uh, the eulogy. Now I would just like to say a few words before we come to the end of uh, this church ceremony. Where did death come from? Why people have to die? This is a question that human beings, we want to ask, we ask, and we need answer. Why, if life is so precious, why should pain, sadness, and sorrow has to be a part of the human life? The answer is in the Holy Bible from the beginning of our creation. In the beginning when God built, when he created the first man, Adam, God made him from seven substance. Soul, spirit, body, earth, water, wind, and fire. God called him Adam. God created him at the age of 30. God blew in Adam his breath of life and he called him man, the first man. In all God's creation, no creature in the heavens or on the earth, beneath the earth, was created in God's image and the likeness. No other creature was given this great glory. God gave Adam full glory. He was the first priest on the earth, the first king on the earth, the first prophet on the earth, and the first governor of the world. In all this richness, God gave him, he was lonely. And God made a sleep to come upon him and took a rib from his side, his right side, and created a woman. She was given the similar glory to Adam. She was the first queen of this world, Eve. She was the first wife of the king, and she was the first governess of this world. She was the first wife of the prophet. She was 15 years old when God created her. And she was created in the image and likeness of God. Both of them, God performed the first marriage ceremony. I married them to become one. And God told him, this is flesh of your flesh, bone of your bone, blood of your blood. You must love her without any partiality, without any, without any partiality, without any undermindings. You are equal. God gave them a glory. Their light was ten times brighter than the sun in the sky. Adam and Eve, light was ten times brighter than the sun you see in the sky. God loved them, and they were the glory of his creation more than the angels, more than animals. God gave them power to rule all the earth. God gave them freedom without condition. You are free. There is a tree in the garden. Forty days after creation, God put them in the garden. Eighty days after in the garden. That is why there is a prayer, forty days after death and eighty days after death. Once Adam and Eve was married and in the garden, every creature was subjected to them. But there was one creature who was jealous of Adam and Eve because of their glory. That was one of the high-ranking archangels named Satanai. 
He refused to salute Adam and Eve when God ordered him. And because of this jealousy between Satan and mankind, a war broke out in heaven. The first war. The first war between the angels. Because all angels bow to Adam and Eve with love, appreciation, honor, adoration, except Satan. And the war between the angels starts. Saint Michael, with the help of God, defeats Satan. He was cast out. Adam was created on Friday morning. Our father Adam. Satan beguiled him Friday afternoon. Lying and telling the creatures, I want to pay respect to him after his demotion. The very sad thing, Adam and Eve, the innocence, like a child, became their downfall. Satan, spirit, entered into the serpent and told them, eat this tree in the garden. The tree will make you like gods. But the way he put it is very, very embellished. He tricked them. So they ate. That fruit is not apple we buy in the market in Sainsbury or Tesco. This apple is not the apple you get in Morrison. You don't get this apple to buy in the market. This apple is a mystery apple. It has good and bad fruit. So eating this immediately their soul was compromised. The devil switched. He made a code with them that your children and you will be subordinate to me as slaves all their lives, selling their soul. But they didn't see this. They are innocent. Their mind was like children, pure. Because all the creatures and Adam was the one who calls them and names them. And they say amen to our father Adam. The cows, the goats, the sheep, the lamb, including fishes, he calls them, they come up and he give them names. Even the trees he names. The knowledge which God gave him was great, magnificent. The wisdom which he had, magnificent. Our father Adam, and his wife, Eve, they never work. They never have a job. They never know headache, stress. They are king and queen of the universe by the will of God. <coughs> Satan let them eat the fruit that bring and introduce death to the human race. This is how death comes. The fruit they eat was called the forbidden fruit. So man life that was, didn't have any limitation on it, from that moment they ate the fruit, their soul was compromised and man's life was limited to a portion of time, some years, some days, some weeks, some months. Our father Adam cried. His wife Eve cried when they realized they were naked. Not only were they physically naked, the light which they had brighter than the sun was gone. The, the animals were aggressive towards them. Why you disobey our creator? Why? They cried. But Satan was happy because he now have the upper hand. He damaged man. He damaged. He brings sorrow, pain to not only Adam and Eve but to their generation. Beloved fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, they were expelled from the Holy Garden because their body was now contaminated. 
and the soul which God gives them purity, because they disobey his words, that soul is now controlled, the destiny by Satan. Evil was now sown amongst them, the knowledge of evil as well. And so, if you read Genesis, the book of Genesis written by the holy prophet Moses, and we say, God said the man has become like one of us, a pluralistic statement. Since that time, they were expelled living on the holy mountain by the will of God. God forgives them, but he promised after 5,500 years, I will redeem you. Five and a half days, because a thousand years to man is so long, but a thousand years to God is one day. So, uh, God promised Adam, I will deliver you. And God revealed to him the future, show him, forecast for him the conclusion of that redemption. When Christos Christ will become man, and to save man, he showed Adam the process. And he promised Adam that process would be on your grave. Brothers and sisters, from this time, God sent prophets after prophets to forecast people repentance, change your life, because your soul is no longer in a safe place. You must come back to me because your father has traded your soul to them. And all the prophets, if you listen to them, especially Isaiah, he was explained to the people he was wounded for our transgressions. By our stripes, by his stripes we are healed. He didn't call the name Christus, but he was forecasting to people. All the prophets, from Moses to Melachi, teach about death and redemption. What happened 5,500 years? All the prophets died. All of them died, except Elijah. Holy prophet, he was taken to the heaven as a prototype in a chariot of fire, but he will come back. But all the holy prophets and apostles, they died. The first sign of the death was between two brothers, Cain and Abel. Cain murdered his brother. So now, Abel was a righteous brother. Cain is the brother who produced evil activities and behaviors. And when our Lord Jesus Christ came to this world, he came to this world to set free the captives of Adam, Eve, and their generation. He was baptized in the river Jordan purposely. Not because he had a sin, but he established baptism to wash the sins of the people rather than doing the atonement of sacrifice of animals. Where he stood in baptism in the river Jordan where John the Baptist, the son of Ark, priest Zacharias and Elizabeth, when we baptize our Lord, our Lord go down to earth. That is the spot where the contract was buried by Satan. The contract of Adam and Eve that the people of the world is slaves to Satan and Satan agents was buried there. Christos Christ destroyed. But still, he told the people, you have freedom of choice. John the Baptist was preaching our, our preach to repent from death and to come to life. Hence, the baptism. The Almighty God, he put tears in the eyes of the human being when they sad and cry, water comes down, not blood from the eyes. This is to show the sign, to show the people that there is still hope. Our Lord Christ was the first one to die and raise up after three days. Christos Christ himself, he said, I am the life and the resurrection. 
except a man wash, baptized, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Unless this happens, even if the persons are good, they cannot when they pass away. Death is a certainty of the flesh. But Christos gives a chance for the soul. When a person baptized, when the body is dipped in the water, it represents their death. And when the priest, priest raises them up, it represents the resurrection. Just like Adam and Eve was advised by God, but given freedom of choice by God, still that is the same today. Everyone has a choice to live or to die beyond the grave. But the flesh definitely will go away. Where it came from. But the soul doesn't die. Heston, Thomas, old he was, the body will go to the soil, but his soul will go before a judgment seat. He will carry the works which he did in his life before God to be judged. All of us will do the same. To give an account what we did. Just like in this country, we have a government for this country. The traffic light said red stop, green go. The government, they have their officers to patrol the, the country. If we approach a traffic light and it says red and we go through the traffic light and we are caught, we will be brought before the authorities to be judged and a penalty will follow. God the same. The heavenly government is God. Those who police it are the angels. Just like God sent prophets and apostles to teach the people not to force the people, not to curse the people, but to encourage, comfort, tell the people the truth. Many people are living in ignorance. Many people take life for granted. Many people don't understand. There's a choice beyond the grave. Once we didn't make a choice alive, the grave has no chance to come back and fix and put right. This is a chance. Many people would say, when I win the lottery, I will buy this, I will do that with the money, if I win. But the one who marked the lottery stand a chance to do that, but the one who talked and didn't buy a ticket could never do what they wished to do. This is just an example. Will he was baptized? It's up to him and his maker to decide what will happen. None of us has gone beyond the grave. All of us now we are alive. But God give us every day to make a decision positively. All the Almighty God teaches us do a U-turn. Love one another. Don't put another God before me. Peace, respect, follow my commandments. This is what he requires from us. But some people were told different things and I don't blame many of the people. They are confused because many of the people have not been told the truth and told them the urgency of the situation. So the people want to make a de decision to follow their God, but they couldn't because different things tell them different things and they get confused. Then they just stay neutral. But what I want to say to you, the body of this our brother is in our midst. He can't come back and speak anything else. But he did make a decision, a positive decision in his life. He repented, baptized. His name is written in the book of baptism in the kingdom of God. But those who didn't baptize, our name is not there. We need to register our name and our faith and come to save our soul. Our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, one time to show the people that he has the power of life over death when Lazarus 
the brother of Mary and Martha died, he rose him up. He called him after three days from the tomb and showed the people publicly, this man was dead, but I bring him. He brought three of his disciples to a mountain called Mount of Transfiguration. And he brought back from the Old Testament, who died many, many, many years, Moses and Elijah. St. Peter, St. John, and St. James was present. They wrote it down. And they saw, beloved believers, listeners, there are many bad spirits in this world now. Satan don't want people to be saved. Satan agents don't want you to go to your gods. Satan wants you to come back into slavery. Satan wants you to abandon, uh, to, uh, to avoid doing good and to do bad. That's why we have so much killings, murders, wars. These are the spirits, the invisible creatures arousing people, but many of the people don't understand. These demons are not humans like you and me. They're like the wind. They travel without visa. They travel without aircraft. They travel without cars. They travel without bikes. They are swift and they are destructive. The only thing they can't do is show themselves to us. But they exist and they go into people's bodies and they do their work, devilish work. Unless we have the backing of the Almighty God, the guidance and protection from our Lord, Jesus Christus, the demons are not afraid of other things. When we call the name of our Lord Christ, those who have these demons tremble and are afraid. They are afraid of the cross. That is why they always say, put away the cross. Those spirits, they are troubled when they see cross. We in Ethiopian Orthodox Twitter Church, which we know about these spirits. We know through our Lord, therefore believers. Today, you have a choice to make in your life. Avoid condemnation. Go to the kingdom of your God. He didn't ask you impossible things. God make us. When we sleep, that's like the small brother of death. None of us can control ourselves when we sleep. We're tired. We lay in the bed or in the chair. We sleep. Some people even sleep while driving. Tired. Death is like that. It will take us away. It doesn't ask questions. It is not partial. It doesn't see color. It doesn't see age. It doesn't see creed. Death comes according to the appointed time. Every single day we get that's a gift from God to turn around. If we don't take this chance, we may lose out. Don't lose out. You're special. You are unique people. You are wonderful people. Don't listen to any bad conversation to say you are not good or you're not worthy. God loves you. He loves us. Therefore, we like to thank the Almighty God to release us, to save us from this evil Satan who be beguiled our parents, Adam and Eve, and who is still leading people astray day by day. But we become wiser. God open our eyes to understand through love, obedience to him will save us. May the blessing of the Father Almighty, the love of the Son, the gift of the Holy Spirit be with us. May the prayers that is said on behalf of all the heroes, Eston Thomas, save his soul. <coughs> and the legacy that he left as a good example, we follow. May our prayers comfort his beloved wife and the children, protect them from all dangers, strengthen them, and we stand with them through their difficult time. Some of us may have experience of losing our loved ones. 
so we know how to comfort them, we will apply that experience as we speak to his wife and his lovely children and all the family members. May we stand for the closing prayers. Uh, I think we are going to the cemetery where we go to the cemetery straight after the prayers. Let us stand up for the closing prayers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, our name. Most mighty God, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Your love and patience is without limit. Mankind, even though we are stubborn in the calling you call us, you didn't punish us. You wait patiently on us. We thank you for your patience and your kindness. Give mercy and compassion to Wendy Hewitt, to Esther Thomas. Blot out all the things he's committed wittingly or unwittingly. We plead to you, encourage these people gathered in this holy church. Strengthen them, their family members. Let them go home in safety and in peace. Bless their families. Keep them close to you. May you send your mercy and compassion and blessing upon Ethiopia and upon England, the United Kingdom, the country of our dwelling. And now we pray you to accept our prayer through the love of your good, kind Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit, the life giver. The prayer and procession, intercession of the Holy Mother, Our Lady St. Mary, the prayer of the Holy Angels, the prayers of the Holy Prophets and the Apostles, the prayers of the Saints, the Martyrs and the Righteous, and the prayers of all the Christian people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. By the salutation of Saint Angel Gabriel, O my Lady Maria, I salute thee. For thou art virgin in thought, virgin in body, mother of God, so both Lord of all salutation unto you. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed the fruit of thy womb. Rejoice, thou say, O graceful, God is with thee. Beseech and pray for mercy to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, with your sins. Amen. The prayer of faith or the creed. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and all things visible and invisible. And we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, who was with him before the creation of the world, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made of one, essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, Without him was nothing in heaven or earth made who for us men, and for salvation came down from heaven was made man, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and from the Holy Virgin Mary, became man, was crucified for our sakes in the days of Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, was buried, and rose from the dead on the third day as was written in the Holy Scriptures, ascended into heaven in glory, sit at the right hand of his Father again, will come in glory, to judge the living and the dead, there is no end to his reign. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the life-giving God who proceed from the Father. We worship and glorify him with the Father and the Son who spoke by the prophets. And we believe in one holy universal apostolic church. And we believe in one baptism for the remission of sins. And wait for the resurrection from the dead and the life to come. Word it out and amen. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory to the Holy Spirit at all times, both now and ever and world without end. Amen. Amen. Now we have completed the church prayers and we wait for the uh, Paul Bears to escort the body of the wife of uh, Wendy Hewitt, they would like to do a body viewing. So 
Um, My apologies, I was just informed that the viewing cannot uh, take place because the coughing has been sealed. So we apologize and uh, at least remember here, well, they wrote in this uh, picture here, uh, they have it here. Just to remember him, like this one. It's a good, this is good. And uh, I'm sure it's a very nice picture. Someone to carry it. We need someone to carry it at least ahead of us. Are you? Yes. Let's move this. Thank you so much.